Hey guys, and welcome to the final part of Sinalis. Uh We're essentially just going to sit here and watch the final endings of the games, the one that I didn't actually manage to get. Um, I believe I got the memory ending where uh, Alistair returns to Ariane, and Ariane has unfortunately forgotten who Alistair is. So Alistair just lays next to Ariane and dies, essentially, I assume, um, whilst Ariane, I guess, also dies due to her radiation poisoning and other kind of rather gribbly injuries that she's sustained throughout this um, mind-bending time warp. <laughs> uh, I don't really have any definitive answers for this game. And according to the developer, that's kind of by design. Uh, most of this game is left up to your own interpretation. Uh, I do have a favourite ending, and as I said in the last part of this game, there is not one definitive good ending. There's not one definitive ending. And I think in a game based heavily around um, looping events and being stuck in a time loop, that does make sense. Um, this game gives you some uh, facts, I guess. It gives you some story beats to chew over. But 80% of this game really is left up to the player's interpretation. Um, I'm not generally a fan of this sort of game design. I like to have hard facts. I don't mind when certain aspects of a game is left up to your interpretation. But when, like, you know, 80% of the game is kind of a figure it figure it out for yourself kind of deal it's it's hmm, not the best uh, not my favorite type of storytelling however this game was absolutely fantastic and i i really recommend it uh, the world building and the general background story on what's going on was absolutely fascinating uh, a little bit more interesting than the actual main story of what was going on between the characters. Um, my, I think my opinion of what really happened, uh, I'm very much on board that this game was a dream uh, in our player character's kind of dying mind. But there seems to be pretty obviously something else going on as well. Um, because, of course, there is two kind of timelines being woven into one here. Now, it comes back to an earlier diary log that we found. Um, pretty early on in the game, if I remember correctly, it's been couple of weeks since I finished this game now but there was a specific diary that mentions our uh, Ariane here either going to work in the Saplinsky mines or she'll be a Penrose pilot uh, on a one-way journey across the stars to try and find resources for this uh, rebel brigade now <sighs> Both of these things seem to have happened because obviously we get a lot of memories in the mines, uh, very detailed memories, in which case I don't think technically Alistair should exist because Alistair was only sent and created for the Penrose mission. So <sighs> there's so much here that you can interpret and, and kind of, you know, draw your own picture and conclusions here. but. I think, and then you could start talking about the fact that they found this weird gate down on the Sapinski mine, that when they started going through that, that's when the bad stuff and the time loop started happening. Man, there is so much in this game to try and, you know, wrap your head around and uh, decompress, but my basic understanding and the the most simplest thing I think this was a dying dream uh, of our Alistair robot as the Penrose mission kind of came to a very very depressing and sad end for our characters and uh, as they lay there dying I think this is uh, kind of what she was dreaming up or going through her 
somewhat robot robotic slash organic mind and i think this is one of those games where you really can sit down and have hour-long discussions uh, about all the nuances and little things but i think that's where i'm going to leave it here for now um i'm very interested to see other people's thoughts i have watched some videos uh you know people explaining the actual endings and stuff like that and the funny thing is everybody that's explaining their definitive version of what really happened they're all different <laughs> which is the point you know uh, a lot of people have um, similar themes but they all put their own spin on it and i think that you know to be fair that's a really fun game design it's good to get people discuss uh, discussing it's good to get uh, you know your thoughts going and things like that but yeah interesting game superb game and the music oh my god the music in this one absolutely superb anyway guys i hope you really enjoyed enjoy the rest of the endings they are strange we have the leave ending for instance where Alistair decides to just not bother um, she makes it all the way back to the Penrose but instead of going in I think this happens uh, where we had that original fake out ending and Alistair tears her arm off and dies outside the Penrose I believe this ending is where she wakes up and basically gives up and walks into the desert to die leaving Ariane behind in the Penrose um, that's my understanding of what happens anyway not really sure my favorite ending is the promise ending where I think to my mind that makes the most sense where you get back inside the Penrose and you uh, carry out your promise which if you remember reading one of the logs that is um, Alistair terminating Ariane to save her from a slow, miserable death, and then they, I guess they both die as uh, she gets self-terminated, and then Alistair lays down and dies with her as well, thus ending the loop, question mark? I don't really know. Um, there is the Lily ending, which is going to be the first part of this uh, video, which essentially, when you first go um, into the first 3D room of the game, from what I can remember, there is a locked safe. Now, if you complete a certain um, set of events which are actually quite easy to do, but you could only do it on the second playthrough. They involve tuning into a certain radio station. In certain rooms, you will get three keys. You can use those three keys to open the safe, which contains lilies. Uh, you can pick the lilies, and then you get an ending where you see uh, Alistair and Ariane dancing amongst the destroyed um, wreckage of the ship which you know I mean that speaks for itself it's kind of a snippet of happier times I don't think this ending's really viable apart from the fact that it's a nice little um, you know secret uh, 